Hey, what's going on, family? Um, back at it. It's a new day. Um, before we get started, can you hit the like and share button, thumbs up button? Help me to answer the message throughout the various social media platforms. You know, like I said, I'm building my brand. Um, like I said, I, those who agree to disagree, those who um, like the talks, um, subscribe. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Um, comment. Um, what I want to discuss is um, a topic that I think a lot of people don't realize that's really hurting each other, hurting us in the black community is being victimized by our thoughts. And what I mean by victimized by our thoughts, what do we think on a daily basis? How do we go about um, situate, situating our lives, you know, decluttering our minds, defragging, you understand? Just like a, a computer on a, on a daily basis or probably monthly, it defrags. You got to set up the defrag. I think we need to do that because we are victimized. We have so much clutter in our minds on a daily basis going about, you know, how life is, you know, we have bills, kids, you know, family, work, you know, it's, it's so much we take in. And sometimes I think that we don't take time to realize if you're thinking negatively, if you're doing things in a negative way, if you're looking at things the wrong way, how you're victimized by your thoughts. I think sometimes we need to slow down, pause, and you need to have time for yourself. You know, saying so you need to, you, you, you need to sit down and write things out and see where you're headed in your life. You know, like me, I write things daily. You know, that's just something I come up with my thoughts. I write things daily. And when I write things daily, I understand, I understand how to go about what's my next challenge. You know, how I'm going to cut this in half. You know, what do I have to do today? What I got to do two days from now, a week from now, two weeks from now. You understand? So I try to stay on a straight and narrow. I try, I try to stay positive, which is sometimes hard to stay positive, especially when you know you go through things. And you know, you deal with people, work life relationships you know it's hard too but like i said sometimes you got to take a step back and look at where you're going you know remove these negative thoughts you understand don't let the thoughts victimize you don't let the thoughts control you but i think when that happens that's when we start having serious issues in our life and when i say serious i mean spiritually physically you know mentally financially you know sometimes you need to take a step back Especially in the black community, because you know, we, a lot of us grew up in poverty. You know, saying a lot of us grew up without no money. You know, a lot of us, you know, been incarcerated. A lot of us probably did things we regret doing now. You understand? Because in my earlier years, I was totally different than I am in my later years. You know, but situations that happen in your early years should change you. But sometimes it don't change people because people continue with the same behavior. You understand? You can't be 40, 41 at a club down in a bottle of Henny. You understand? And we think that this sort of lifestyle is best for us. But like I said, that's your thoughts. And you and you going about doing it. You understand? You see a lot of these um, sexual assaults going on because these people are thinking. You understand? They're thinking, hey, well, can I, can I get away with this? Can I get away with that? And then you destroy someone's life by doing that act. You know? So I think a lot of people need to realize, you understand? But they, their thoughts really control everything about them. And then, on top of that, you know, some people are just negative people. Some people are just negative people the way they think. I mean, I, I mean, everybody has that friend or that family member or knows someone who just spews negativity day in and day out. Those are the people you gotta stay away from. Those are the people that don't have no happiness in their life. Your thoughts are what's the thoughts is what controls your life. And I think we as people need to understand that. You understand? That's just sometimes when you when you when you when you hear a song come on, a song that degrades your community. Let me say it. A lot of rap music in this day and age. We we tend to um, navigate to that. Instead of navigating to the music that has substance and meaning. They both have substance and meaning, but one's negative, one's positive. And I think that I think that's the gray area between the black and white. That sometimes we need to see. And sometimes we don't see it. Okay? A lot of people need to get on that spiritual journey, not religious, that spiritual journey. And this kind of a lot of things. Reprogram yourself, remodel yourself. Okay? And once you do all that, your thoughts are going to start 
lightening up. It's not going to be so cluttered going in various directions. You understand? Family. Changes need to be made to each of our lives. And a lot of times we don't want to make that change. I don't, you know, you don't care what people think about you, say about you. This is your life. It's not theirs. The thoughts you have from a child, remove that. You're an adult now. The thoughts your spouse have is negative. I don't know what to tell you, but you need to make a change in your life. Because there's growth and development out there. We got that. We all have that within us. We just got to know how to bring it out of us. Family, I appreciate it, man. You know, dealing with y'all, man, on a daily basis. I'm like, I'm getting strength every day when I make these videos. Because, like I said, I might not get so many views, but you want to know something, I get views. That's all that matters. You know, because when things pop off, and when people go back and view your catalog, they're going to say, shit, I never knew this guy had all these videos. That's the same thing what happened with all these um, YouTubers out there. You know? They started small, then they expanded because you learn things daily. You understand? You declutter. And you catch on and you lose. You, you use their various strategies. The family, thank you. Like I said before I go, hit the like and share button, thumbs up button. Help me to, help me to answer the message. Later, fam.